probably have already said something that I'm going to think about later. That's like, why? Like for me, I started out trying to cultivate my own personal brand on LinkedIn. Um, you know, what top tips would you give to somebody that's looking to start cultivating their brand? Where would you, where, where would you send them? Yeah, well, this is, well, personal brand was not something that I thought about. I, I don't know. I think I started thinking about for like three years ago, not so long ago. I didn't even realize the importance of that, to be quite honest. And now I do. And I think that if you want to start, uh, well, at least what I did <laughs> is start talking about topics that you think you you know you can add value to or that not only that you like because people will follow you 50 percent is because of the person in who you are which you, you also have to be courage enough to you know to to show yourself like we're talking about to be authentic and 50 percent i think it's because uh, the value knowledge and stuff because if you have a lot of knowledge but you don't have like a, i don't know charisma or whatever it is I, I don't know. I'm not sure if you go, you know, if you're going to go that big. I don't know. I don't know. It's my opinion. But I think you have to be a balance of that. And, and yeah, what I did was I, I said, okay, what, what I'm passionate about. It's, it's quite simple, but again, it, it, it's, it's what it is. So what I'm passionate about and what I think I can, again, share with people that would resonate at least with someone there that maybe, I use a lot to, to share experience. So, so I'm struggling. Maybe someone is reading also struggling. And then it's a bit selfish now saying this, but it's, I'm learning too, you know, and not just, not just giving them, but I also doing for myself. It would make sense. And you have to, again, be real. Uh, don't try to do just because other people are doing or posting about this or that topic. And you have, no relation to that or no knowledge or whatever. And I see some people doing sometimes this just for, for the likes and stuff and it doesn't work. So people, people notice very fast if you're, why you're doing what you're doing. I think, I think nowadays people can spot like, okay, this is real. This is not. Yeah, so, I, I agree with you there. I, I see lots of posts on LinkedIn and they just don't pull you in because they they're just not really speaking to you as a person. It's very corporate or very, you know, stuffy. And, and, and that doesn't really show me the real person behind the post. So it's nice to see people mm -hmm. going out and trying new things. You know, I always give a like to somebody that's trying something a little bit different. Um, <laughs> how do you decide where the boundary is between what's personal and what's professional? Have you ever said something in a video that you thought, oh, I probably shouldn't have told the internet that? I can think of one that you've told the internet. <laughs> well many times I've done that and the the team especially the team here at S Suite to the marketing team I finish a webinar what I said why I do I, why I said this sentence it's like <laughs> me and so I don't know what the boundary is to be honest um I don't even know if you have a boundary I mean uh again I I'm very spontaneous and I think that's one of the things at least that people talk about me and then I think that I don't know uh, helps me doing what I'm doing so even though I do webinars with script I'm 90% uh, of the time out of the script and I just stop talking to people and I forget especially in uh, I think in person is different but online I forget quite easily that uh, that's being recorded or if people will watch, because you, you just see the person that you're talking to, right? Yeah. So I don't know. So I said many things. I remember saying, well, you you did one with me, Emmy, last web <laughs> about Valentine's Day. That's the one I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. And then, yeah, but the, the ones that I personally, I, I've said what I'm saying, it was something in the same line I uh, was a webinar. I remember it was so ashamed. I was like, uh, we were talking about how easy it is to change, like uh, to book a hotel. So if your hotel don't answer fast, then they just go to next with something like that. And then I, I for some reason, I start talking, make an analogy with Tinder. And then I was like, <laughs> I'm doing this because like I'm first, first of 
I'm telling people that I love on Tinder. And all my life, I'm like, why, Paul? And then it was just me. And then, and then I don't remember the guests were just laughing. And I was like, okay, moving on. <laughs> so, it's right, so, though. It, it is it is right you that analogy is amazing I never thought of it like that so thank you yeah. it's gonna end it was like next it. next yeah it's like a tinder for right they were like they just stopped laughing and I was like oh what I've just said but yeah it, it happens uh in the webinars that I'm the, the host and also when I'm the guest like like here yeah, probably I've already said something that I'm gonna think about later and it's like why <laughs> But then again, I don't want to change that much, you know. Sometimes I think, like Paula, you should, in some occasions, you maybe you should be a little bit more what people call professional. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to, I don't want to lose myself. So, yeah, I try to balance. Uh, <laughs> so I'm right to- there with you. I'm right there with you. Like I'm, I'm totally out there. I probably do the cross the line a lot more than I probably should, but it's who I am, you know. It won't work for everybody, but a lot of people will see the authenticity behind it. You know, what's what's the worst that's going to happen? I'm going to have to apologize to somebody. It wouldn't be the first time either. Yeah. So, so don't lose that bit of you, Paula, because that's what we love. 